Hello, dear viewers, and welcome back to Learning English Pro. I'm Jer, your online tutor and guide. Today, we embark on an exciting journey through the world of engineering. It's a field that powers innovation and shapes the world around us. Before we begin, remember that the word list and detailed definitions are available for revision after this lesson in the video description. Engineering is the application of scientific and mathematical principles to design, construct and maintain structures, systems and processes. It plays a crucial role in our lives, from the buildings we inhabit to the technology we use. Civil engineering focuses on the design and construction of infrastructure, like roads, bridges and buildings. It ensures that these structures are safe, efficient and durable. Mechanical engineering involves the study of machines and mechanical systems, from engines to manufacturing equipment. It's about making things work effectively and safely. Electrical engineering centers on the study of electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. It's the backbone of everything from power distribution to modern electronics. Computer engineering blends electrical engineering and computer science to develop computer hardware and software. It drives the technology we rely on daily. Next up, we have chemical engineering. This type of engineering employs chemistry principles to design and optimize processes for producing chemicals, fuels, and materials, contributing to various modern industries. Let's move on to aerospace engineering. This is all about aircraft and spacecraft design, testing and development. It's what makes human space exploration and air travel possible. Structural engineering specializes in designing and analyzing structures to ensure their safety, stability and integrity. Moving along to environmental engineering, this focuses on environmental protection and sustainability, addressing issues like pollution control and resource conservation. Material science studies the properties and applications of materials like metals, ceramics and polymers paving the way for innovations in various industries. Our next engineering term is CAD. CAD is an acronym of Computer Aided Design. CAD is the use of specialized software to create detailed 2D and 3D models and designs for engineering projects. A prototype is an early model or sample of a product used for testing and refining the design before mass production. An important term for any engineer is innovation. Innovation is the process of introducing new and improved ideas, products or processes. Innovation drives progress and change. Sustainability involves using resources in a way that meets current needs without compromising future generations. It's about responsible resource management. Robotics is the design and creation of robots to perform various tasks, from manufacturing to exploring challenging environments. Let's move on to thermodynamics. This is the scientific study of heat, 
energy transfer and the relationship between heat, work and energy. Friction is the force that opposes motion when two surfaces are in contact. It's a critical factor in mechanical design, affecting the efficiency and wear of moving parts. The term load bearing refers to a structure or materials capacity to support a weight or force without failing. It's a fundamental consideration in construction and engineering design. Voltage measures electrical potential difference, which drives current flow in electrical circuits. It's a key concept in electrical engineering. If you'd like to learn more terms related to electrical engineering and the job of an electrician, check out my video. The link for that is on screen and in the video description below. A blueprint is a detailed technical drawing or plan used in construction and engineering projects to communicate precise information about the design and structure. And there you have it, my essential engineering vocabulary for beginners. Each term is a building block in this exciting field of knowledge and innovation. Remember the word list and detailed definitions are available for revision in the video description. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this lesson, why not drop it a like and subscribe to my channel Learning English Pro for more informative content. To learn vocabulary for biochemistry, click here. And to learn vocabulary related to construction materials, click here. That wraps up our lesson, folks. Thanks for joining me today. And remember, keep learning English like a pro.